Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Mac cleaning software. If you are a new owner of a MacBook or an iMac, congratulations, but if you are an owner of the past X amount of years, this video will be very helpful. And let's start with number one for Mac cleaning software, Clean My Mac X. I highly recommend Clean My Mac X because this is a software that is notarized by Apple. And this UI is probably the best of all the software that I'm gonna be reviewing today. So over in the column on the left, there are a ton of features that Clean My Mac X has to offer offer in terms of optimization, maintenance, uninstalling, so on and so forth. But in today's video, we're just going to run a smart scan because I want to show you that this software can simultaneously run a cleanup, make sure that your computer is protected and make sure that it's running very quickly. All right. So after that smart scan, now I have five gigs that I can clean up off of my system. All the protection is good to go. And there's three tasks to run to speed up. So I'm going to click on run. And once I click run, clean my Mac X will run everything that I needed to do to complete those tasks. And that's how easy it is. Clean My Mac X does everything for you. But what if you don't want to run a smart scan and you want to get rid of large and old files, but you don't know where to find them? There is literally a task for that in the bottom left corner, just like that. Clean My Mac X is your one-stop shop for your Mac cleaning needs, and I highly recommend it. There is a download link in the description below. You could start a free trial, or you could just buy the whole thing and just get started on making sure your new or old Mac computer is running tip top shape. All right, the second one up on the list is Avast Cleanup Premium, and you probably already heard of Avast. It's a notable program that has a legacy that spans at least a decade. So let's go ahead and check that out right now. Right off the bat, I really like the simple UI that Avast has to offer. It's just five buttons that I can click. So we can either clean up clutter, we can clean our browser, find duplicates, analyze photos, or uninstall apps. What I do notice is that there is no antivirus function on this. So if that matters, then that's something to keep in consideration but let's run a quick scan right now. Wow, that was extremely fast. <laughs> All right, so right off the bat, I could clean up four and a half gigs of trash off of my computer. So that's really good to know that it could find that within three seconds of me clicking the scan button. So let's go back to the dashboard and let's see if we could uninstall some apps. Let's see what that looks like. Show. And wow, that was also really fast. And it lists out all the applications that are on my Mac right now. And it shows the size of each app too. But one thing that might be great for all of us is to find duplicates of files that we might be having in our, say for example, downloads folder. So let's go ahead and click that. All right, so that process wasn't as quick as five seconds, but it got it within the minute. So that's still pretty swift. And it found nearly 80 gigabytes of duplicate files. And it even shows me different partitions of what it found as a repetition. So there's pictures that have duplicates, there's songs, videos, folders, so on and so forth. Avast is pretty good in my opinion. So if you want to go check that out, go ahead and download that as well. All right. So the third program we're going to be reviewing today is called Daisy Disk. I already have it opened up right here and it is a super nice program. So let's go ahead and click scan on my main hard drive. And what I love most about this program is the user interface, just like the other two programs as well. But I love how it can actually separate your hard drive, what is scanned into different color code partitions and show you what's actually inside it. So within these partitions, you're going to find your files with their respective file sizes. And if you find one that is way too big or something that you don't want to keep, go ahead and drag it to the bottom left corner and it's going to collect all that for you. And when you're ready to delete stuff, go ahead and click that nice old red delete button and it will delete everything for you and it's off. Now you could just save storage just like that. All right, so the last software that I'm gonna be reviewing today is called CCleaner. So let's go ahead and open that up. CCleaner comes with two versions, a free version and a professional version. And this is more so focused on businesses and business customers. In the free version, we get five different options to cleaning our Mac, but in the professional full version that you could purchase for $25, you get a lot more features for doing whatever you need to do. So with this software, you could clean your browser. You could run a quick scan and find out what you need to delete in terms of cookies, caches, browsing history, or anything that you need to do other than that. You can go ahead and analyze your massive photo folders on your device and go ahead and run a quick scan. And just like what CCleaner is saying right now, it's scanning for similarities, duplicates, or maybe even low quality files that you wouldn't even want anymore. So CCleaner found 130 gigs of photos on my device and 191 photos are considered bad. So let me go ahead and review them. And oh, geez, yep, these are pretty bad, low quality, underexposed, 
weird faded photos that I do not want. And there you have it. That's what CCleaner is capable of doing in its free version. You could go ahead and download the full version if you want. But that is all for today's video. I still recommend Clean My Mac X at the top of the list. And there is a download link in the description box below. And I can't recommend it more because it does clean up your Mac, but it also keeps it very efficient. And it also runs as a malware antivirus removal system. So I highly recommend it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, and comment down below, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.